Thank you very much. So, um, as you can tell, I'm a Brit. I'm English. I've been teaching in German, in Germany, Switzerland for 14 years, and I only know enough German to order beer. So, I'm sorry you have to listen to me in English, but this is a topic I get very excited about. So, sometimes I get a little bit speedy and I talk too fast. And therefore, it's for you a second or third language. If you need to stop me, make me repeat something, it's no problem. Stick your hand up. I try and repeat it slowly. Um, I've been practicing acupuncture for 30 years. Um, I first got into Japanese acupuncture because after learning Chinese acupuncture with Tech Capjerk, with this older Chinese fellow in Boston, we started needling each other. And every time I was needled, I fainted. And after a while, I thought, well, how can I do that? I don't like the feel of it. And then this Japanese woman, Kiko Matsumoto, turned up at the school, and she needled me, and I didn't faint. So I've done Japanese acupuncture ever since, because I'm a wimpy Brit. But, so I, but I'm English, I live in Holland, I practice in Amsterdam, and I'm also a professor in Oslo, so it's a little bit confusing. Anyway, um, I first uh, encountered the Shonishin system back in 1983, and so I've been using it on and off, initially only a little bit, but more systematically for the last 20 years. And it's a system that uh, is very suitable for babies and small children, because it's really not at all scary. So I thought I would talk about that initially by showing you a treatment demonstration. And then I can talk a little bit about the history and background and the nature of what we do in this system. So this is a, a baby that's being treated. Um, the diagnosis, this is a healthy baby, it's just a treatment demonstration at a school in Munich from the look of it. Um, so the treatment I have in my hand here, an instrument with a round head on it, and I'm doing stroking techniques. So the instrument looks like that. That's a needle, by the way. So I'm doing stroking on the arms and legs and the torso. It goes very fast. It's very comfortable. It's a, maybe a little bit ticklish for smaller children, but not so bad. And I also do a little bit of tapping technique. And then I use an instrument with a slightly sharp point on it. But the point itself is hidden, so it's not so sharp. You'll notice I'm touching all the time, feeling the changes, because the, the changes occur s very rapidly with this treatment method. Now I'm tonifying a point using a blunt needle. So here's the kind of needle that I'm using. It's got a blunt end on it, a round end on it. I'll be talking about this. So children wriggle around, so it takes a little time to do the treatment, but the whole treatment itself is very fast. Um, it's comfortable, there's no scariness, there's no pain. We focus especially on making it comfortable and not painful for the child. Um, I'm pretending to do pulse diagnosis there, it's not really feasible at this age. <laughs> um, although I could probably get some basic information. Now I'm doing a little bit of the tapping again. Um, the child's usually like, whoa, what's this? But it's not at all scary, it's very comfortable. Um, okay, so there's a, an action, there's a fixed pattern of this kind of stroking, ba the tapping. Now I'm sticking little stickers on the points. In China they put seeds in the ears, and here I'm using small metal balls on a piece of tape, similar to the seeds in the ears. But you can see the treatment goes very quickly. In principle, the treatment is done in two minutes. But it might take 20 minutes, depending upon how much the mother needs to talk or how much running around the child might do. And much longer if they bring siblings in, then they start playing in the treatment room. So because of the cough that the child has, I'm also putting a sticker on the elbow here as a mild cough. So this is the treatment model we're going to talk about. It, as you can see, it's really very different from TCM. It's